welcome to I Love Stocks. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and hit that like button after each video if you like. But this is our little YouTube channel, and I'm going to talk about the Ascending Triangle. The Ascending Triangle. Ascending Triangle is a bullish formation that usually forms during an uptrend of a continuation pattern. There are instances where this Ascending Triangle from a reversal pattern at the end of the downtrend, but they are typically continuation patterns. But they're always great to, if you can find them, they're usually bullish. Regardless of where they form, sending triangles are bullish patterns that indicate accumulation. So what we have is a horizontal line that goes all the way straight across, and then we have the lower highs that continue up and begin a squeeze. And once this starts to tighten up at the end, that's when you're going to have the breakout. For example, today, and I see these all day long, we started that, I called this, I noticed the pattern right off the bat when we started getting lower highs. Now you could have scalped this on this lower high right here and run it up to resistance level. But once we did find a resistance, I went ahead and chalked me a line across it. And then I started from the next pullback that we had down here, that's when I started the, the, uh, the trend line with the lower highs. So once we met up here, I called out in the room, I said, we're getting ready to break out here on Nike. And we need to break this level of 85.52 to bring it up to a continuation pattern and to move it all up in an upward trend. Well, that's exactly what happened. I alerted the room when we hit this first high. I said, if we pull back and we get back up in here and I start seeing an ascending triangle forming with lower highs, that we could have us a nice little breakout. And it always depends on market conditions, so always keep that in mind. I was definitely calling a bullish day today from yesterday on that big sell-off we had. And it's exactly what we had. We were green most of the day. The Dow went down red just a couple of times. But with the lower highs, and you notice that the volume will start to slow down a little bit as they start to squeeze. And once they start to squeeze, you'll start seeing some real nice engulfing candles. And if we break up to that top of that resistance level of 85.12, you have the breakout. So these are great patterns to identify if you're in a day trade, or even if you're in a three-month continuation pattern. They show up on three months. They show up on a year. It just depends on the time frame that you're in. But I use it as a day trade mostly. And as you notice, my time frame here is a daily one minute. That's the kind of one that I use. And if you spot these ascending triangles, alert it to yourself. And maybe you might want to break out on the scalp. Or maybe if you're still getting the lower highs here and you're pretty confident in the trade. And you think you might have hit a bottom. See what happened here? We had that sell off first thing in the morning. So then it started a continuation pattern with the higher lows and the horizontal line. And once we hit that horizontal line the third time, bam, she went ahead and broke out. I always like to see it three times a charm. Sometimes when you go to four to five, they're starting to get a little weary of it. And those aren't as strong as, as the three top sending triangle breakout. So everybody have a good day. Please remember to subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. We also have a Twitter page right here. We're gaining followers every day. We're up about 50 followers so far in a week's period of time. And I like to average at least 50 a week. And right now we're at 1208. So hit that follow button. Also, we have our Twitter pages here. Mrs. Vegas is right here. Hit her follow button. I also have mine on here. It's right down here below. Hit that one, follow that. I'm up to 26, 2006 k which is pretty good. And we just want to wish everybody a happy day. I love stocks.